Advantage is always a tricky decision for a referee. Steve Dunn got it absolutely right there, and Sunderland were rewarded with a fine opening goal by Kevin Kilbane. The lead didn't last long, but it took some acrobatics to get the equaliser. First by Chris Powell, and finally by Matthias Svensson. A good day then for the strikers, not such a good one for defenders at either end. Charlton were far from impressive in allowing Stefan Schwartz to cross and Niall Quinn to apply the header. And I suspect that Alan Kirbishley will also be asking questions about closing down when Don Hutchison had time to deliver the centre from which Kevin Phillips made it 3-1. Whatever, there was enough incident to keep the spectators engaged. Graham Stewart needed all his strength before he could lay the ball back to Klaus Jensen. At 3-2 now, all options were open. Charlton certainly sensed that their cause was still alive. Mark Fish lifted the ball over after Andy Todd had hit the post. Still, though, they kept pressing, and right at the end, another chance was made. Sean Newton to Kevin Lisby. Lisby, but not to be. Leicester were on the brink of an unwanted record.